Hey, 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 what's up you guys? Gede Minas here. Welcome to Financial Freedom TV. And today I wanted to talk about be the difference between being a consumer and being a marketer. So if you're watching a replay of this, please do me a massive favor and stick hashtag replay into the comments. And if you're brand new, uh, you're watching one of my videos for the first time, please do say new in the comments because I'd love to welcome you to the tribe. And if you learn something or you get value from this video, feel free to share it because maybe somebody else will get some value too. Okay, so the topic today is stop behaving like a consumer and start behaving as a marketer. So uh, most people that I see in network marketing, they're behaving like a consumer. So they're just watching TV to watch a TV. They watch, you know, they're, they're, they're browsing the internet just to browse the internet. And they are oblivious of all the information they could use in their own business. So what I want to encourage you to do is stop being a consumer and stop just watching everything just to watch for the sake of watching, but start looking and paying attention. What are these companies doing? What are these people are doing? Like, for example, you go on your Facebook and as you start scrolling down, guess what? Every three posts, you see an ad. Every three posts or every couple of posts, you actually see an ad. Somebody is paying money to run this ad and stick it in front of you. Now, most of you are just scrolling past it or maybe you click on it and have a look. Oh, what is he selling? Let me buy something, right? But you are not thinking as a marketer. What you should be doing is scrolling through your Facebook and when you see the ads, you should be asking yourself, hey, what can I learn from this ad? Because if somebody is spending money to put that ad in front of you, and if you see there's loads of likes and comments, there's loads of shares and everything, it means it's working. So ask yourself, what can I learn from it? Maybe I could use that headline. Maybe I could use a, a picture like that to sell what I sell, to invite people to what I'm inviting people to. Next time you're looking at a magazine, don't just look at it as a magazine and go, oh, let me skip through the pages. Look at it as a marketer. Look at the headlines they're using because the headlines is what sells that magazine when it's in the shop. Somebody sees the headline, they go, oh, I want to learn about that. So again, start being a marketer. Look at that and think, oh, could I use that headline? How to something without something. You know what I mean? These are the headlines, how to lose fat without, you know, dieting or how to lose weight without starving yourself. You know, pay attention to those things, you know, book titles, you know, people spend a fortune to, to get a good book title and things like that. Right. So start paying attention. You, if you're flipping through a newspaper, look at the ads, look at how they worded the advertisements, how they put the headlines, how they put the pictures. Stop just being a consumer and start becoming a marketer and using the information because, you know, look what companies that like Amazon do. Look what companies that are very successful. What do they do? What sort of emails do they send you? What sort of offers do they present you with? What sort of information do they advertise? Think about those companies are multi-million and some of them billion dollar or pound companies. And if they're putting that ad in front of you, they probably spent thousands or tens of thousands or maybe even hundreds of thousands to develop that ad. Use your brain and think, what can I learn from the successful company? Because they wouldn't be a billion dollar company if they didn't, if, they, if whatever they did wasn't successful. So if they send you an email, don't just be a consumer like, oh, what can I buy? Look, how did they word this email? What headline did they use to send this email? What, you know, how did they lay it out, etc.? How can I take some of this information and use it in my business? How can I use some of this information to promote my products? How can I use some of this information to promote my business? You know what I mean? Stop being oblivious to that and stop being vigilant. See, oh, how can I use some of that? How can I apply this in my business? How, what can I learn from this company? You know what I mean? That's my advice for today, guys. If you got value from this, feel free to share it. Have a great rest of your evening and I'll see you at the top. And if you'd like to get a free ebook called How to Build Your Part-Time Business While Keeping Your Full-Time Job, drop me a private message and I'll be more than happy to send you that PDF. See you later, guys. See you at the top. Bye for now.